Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Capricorn. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. All right, Capricorn, some of you are moving on. It's just, um, it's time. I mean, you, it just makes sense to do so. To stay would just be you laying yourself, you know, laying yourself on the line, running out into traffic. You're just not going to win here. It's not going to turn out well. Um, so you just feel like it's, it's, um, it's time to move on. The Four of Cups. Yeah, you feel like uh, maybe you missed an opportunity or someone missed an opportunity with you. You also feel regret, you know, uh, maybe regret for not seeing or not taking to an opportunity. This is how someone feels about you. Someone was too centered on themselves or self-centered to focus on solo aspirations solo goals and and once focused on like coming together and having um you know togetherness they were focused on themselves this card talks about being so so centered you know that you miss the blessing or the opportunity or the gift that is before you okay um it talks about having singular plans and, and not involving others the magician yeah uh, and it could be a man okay it could be a, this card talks about a very powerful man who knows how to use his words wisely um, knows how to manifest knows how to use all of his resources to get what it is he or she wants but specifically this the magician is a masculine energy now a woman could come up in the magician energy but do know that you're now in your masculine energy and both both sexes have both so when you are the magician and you're a female you're a woman you're coming up in your masculine um therefore when we're talking about this person as an archetype this is a man so um i don't know some powerful man was maybe too focused on their goals too focused on other aspirations other people just themselves just too self-centered to actually see what they had before them it talks about you needed to, somebody needs to use their words wisely okay also um be careful what you say uh play your cards right this is what someone is trying to do here uh, the end the three of swords um could have been the third party it could be a breakdown in terms of a marriage it could be divorce and separation someone's trying to I heard walk on eggshells in terms of not getting a divorce or not leaving. Um, but there is isolation and alienation here. And I guess in, for you to stay, you need to isolate yourself. You need to alienate yourself because being in this connection is not good for some of you. Um, we have the Queen of Swords coming up. Yeah. Somebody's words are very cutting. Somebody's very hurtful. The high priestess. Um, it could be that it's a breakdown to a connection because there was a hidden party. There was a third party. Somebody may have found out about it or they at least have, you know, some kind of inclination that this is going on. Um, with the queen of swords, somebody wants the truth. They want accuracy. This is typically my female Virgo, Scorpio, Aquarius card. Um, someone wants to know why why are we divorcing why are you sep why are we separating why have you chosen to do this someone feels like you always had secret plans Capricorn and you, you kept secret plans this is the the divine um, the divine masculine and the divine feminine but this is when they're in the ethereal in the heavenly form in the spiritual form they aren't in the uh, physical like the emperor and the empress that those are earth mother and 
um, uh, farther time. So, um, so, my, so the, like, there's a secret relationship here, right? One and two. Magician is one. High priestess is two. There's a secret relationship, and then there's another woman here. It could be the wife. Could be the other. Yeah, the one that had this person had obligation to is asking why would you put our relationship in jeopardy why would you make it a third party situation um somebody could be feeling re regretful re remorseful um in terms of uh leaving this person or leaving or maybe they, them having singular plans here let's look at the bottom of the deck yet yeah, six of swords i knew somebody's like moving on they just feel like it's time um Move, I heard moving out, moving on. There's been a period of no activity within a connection. Somebody could have been pregnant, or somebody got someone pregnant. I don't know, honey. It's a mess, though. Um, Capricorn, if you feel like it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there, take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.